Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to my trying a new makeup product every day series. Today I'm going to be trying out from Milk Makeup. This is the Mini Lip and Cheek Cream Blush Stick. So I have this here in the shade Work. It comes in a bunch of different shades though and it retails for $18.00. And I love a two-in-one product, and I love milk products, so I'm really excited to see how this will be. And it really seems like a perfect shade for both cheeks and lips. So first things first, I do want to swatch it. I like that you can twist it up. So let's see how it looks. Ooh, yes! A really pretty rosy shade. I'm pretty sure this has some really nice ingredients in it as well. Let's see. Yes, mango butter, avocado oil, and apricot oil to hydrate the skin and help it blend seamlessly. It's gluten-free, cruelty-free. It's one of the clean at Sephora products. So first I wanna go ahead and try it out on my cheeks. It says to apply it directly onto the cheeks, but for some reason, I just kind of want to start out by applying a little bit on my finger and blending it out that way. I feel like cream blushes can be a little bit tricky because you don't want them to lift your foundation. Okay, I think I'm going to need a little bit more than that. Applying it with my finger did not seem to lift the foundation. Let's go ahead and see if I apply it directly to the cheek and blend it out. If it will still sit nicely on top of the foundation. Yeah, it is sitting really nicely on the foundation. So that's a relief. That's a good sign. And it really does blend out beautifully. It looks super smooth and natural on the skin, like you can't even detect it. It really does just look so skin-like. Like this would just be natural on me. Like you can't even tell I'm wearing a product. It's also such a natural flush shade that looks beautiful. I'm like so tempted to apply more, but I always end up applying too much blush. So I really should stop here, right? Because this looks... That looks pretty perfect. Okay, Christy, resist applying more. Move on to the other cheek. It's not the easiest cream blush to blend. You do have to work at it, but eventually it blends out perfectly fine. And it's also not crazy pigmented, so I don't feel like I need to go in with a light hand at all. Which is nice, but it does seem to be buildable, so you can achieve as much of a flush as you want. But it looks great. I love this. I love what it did to my skin. Sometimes when I'm wearing a blush, I'm like, oh, that looks very sun-kissed. But this doesn't even look sun-kissed. It doesn't look like at all sunburn or anything like that, which I don't want to look like I have a big sunburn on my cheek. I want it to look like a youthful flush of color, nothing too intense. And that is exactly what this is giving me. It looks beautiful. And the finish on it, it's not matte, but it's not glowy either. It's a very natural finish. So just everything about this, I feel like is so beautifully natural. Now let's move on to the lips. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it directly to the lips. Ooh. That does give some good color. Love this shade on the lips as well. And the lip color and cheek color look so good together. I'm loving the color combination going on and how my makeup look is looking. But my lips are very chapped today, and this is definitely clinging to the dry patches. It doesn't have a smooth, opaque, even color at all. But 
I just don't like how it emphasizes the dry texture on my lips. So I would not wear this on my lips if I had any chapped areas on my lips. I would probably need to do a lip scrub before, maybe even put a lip balm base before applying this. So that's a bummer. I wish this was smoother on the lips because it's a really pretty color and I love how it looks with the blush but I personally will probably get more use out of this as a blush than a lip balm because I just have such dry lips that this is not the best lip product for me. Even though it does feel comfortable, it does feel like a lip balm sort of texture and it has nourishing ingredients in it, it's still not moisturizing and hydrating enough for my lips. So overall, I like this product. I don't love it five stars, which it doesn't have five stars on Ulta either. It's more like three to four, and that's what I would agree with as well. So beautiful and smooth on the cheeks. Like cheeks, I feel like is five stars, but it would be better if it looked better on my lips because it's like so smooth on my cheeks, but then so not smooth <laughs> on my lips. But this shade work is such a great color. But this is a popular milk makeup product that I'm so glad I finally tried this out. If you've tried out this product, let me know your thoughts on it in the comments down below. But I would also like to hear your recommendations for other milk makeup products. It's a brand that I really like, but I have not tried out many products from them. So I definitely would love to get some more recommendations. But thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day and I will see you tomorrow in my next video.